So what we're going to do is we're going to create something in Scratch. Scratch works a bit like Blockly from code.org, so you should already know a little bit about it. If I want to find any of the any different blocks, I can find them up here. There's motion blocks and look blocks that change the way things look. Sound blocks plays sound. There's a pen if you want to draw stuff. There's um, data events, that's when things happen. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of my cat. So to get rid of my cat, I think I can go down here and right click on him and choose delete. <gasps> I'm going to paint myself a new sprite. Anytime we draw something on the screen, have a little character that can move around, we call them a sprite. So I'm going to paint a new sprite with this paintbrush button. What's the other one? And I'm just going to make a very simple rectangle Dude. that is filled with white and outlined in black. I think that's what I'm going to draw right now. Okay, so there it is. It's an outline black line, and I'm going to paint the inside white like that. Okay, it's not too exciting. So there's the costume. This is called a costume, and I can, for every sprite, it can have multiple costumes and different scripts. Okay, what I'm going to do, and this is your first challenge, I'm going to make it so that when I click on this sprite, it makes a noise. We're gonna we're gonna make the first we're gonna make three notes of a piano, and if you guys are really good with scratch, you might be able to make a whole piano. So let's try it. Um, I need an event. An event is something that happens. Okay. So when I click on this, I want something to happen. So if we look under events, is there anything there that you can see that we might be able to use so that we can trigger something to happen whenever? Uh, we click it. Oh, lots of hands up. Uh, Emma. Uh, the when click. Yeah, that's right. So when this sprite is clicked. When I click it, I want something to happen. Okay, and look up here. We've got lots of different types of blocks. Sound. Do you want sound. to do sound? Okay. I'll go to sound. And I'm gonna, I could have it do lots of stuff. Check this out. I could have it make a pop sound. Listen. Make sure my volume's turned on. Can you hear that? Okay, but I don't want to make it pop. I want to make a piano kind of sound. So I'm going to look under here until I see play a drum. No, play a note. Yeah, here we can change the type of instrument. So I could choose from all those. I'll let you guys, you know what, later on, after you guys master a few keys on the piano, I'll let you change the instrument. But I'm going to go up here, I'm going to say play note, and it lets me choose a note here. There's middle C for 0.5 seconds. So let's try it. Are you guys ready? Can you, it works. Can you, now check this out. I could go through that whole process again. I could paint a new sprite and draw a rectangle. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to, though. Let me just delete this. What I can do instead is I can go down here to here where it says sprite one. I can right click that. And what's that word say? Delete. Oh, sorry. What's this word? Duplicate. Say? Duplicate. Do you guys know what that word means? Like two. Make two. Like twins. Like twins. You got it. Okay. So there's my second one. I'm gonna drag it up here. Now you'll notice it looks exactly the same, and the script for this sprite is exactly the same. So then you wouldn't have to remake it. So I, exactly. When we use computers, computer programmers always look for the easiest way to do the most work, or to do the most uh, output on your computer with as little work for the person as possible. That's working smart instead of hard. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go play note, and this time, instead of middle C, why don't we play the next note up? Okay, so check it out. Listen, you guys ready? Ooh. I'm going to pause it there because here's my challenge to you. I want you, I'm going to give you um, a little bit of time, I want you to, to make at least, if I were to look at a piano keyboard, I want to see at least C, D, and E, and then if you could even make C sharp and E flat, those notes up there. I don't know, if that's, your, that's your stretch goal. So your goal, I want to see three notes at least. 
Your stretch goal, if you want a big challenge, is to try and see if you can create those two black keys there as well. Okay? Some of you, I, that's okay. It's a stretch. That means some people are going to figure it out. Other people are not. I want to see you try. Okay? So there's your first, I want to see one, two, three notes, and then I would love to see two black notes as well. The C sharp and the B or sorry, E flat. Wait, I have to try and make a okay.